uh, this is the compressor we are going to check the output here in the output of the compressor the refrigerant enter liquid no liquid at the just at the output of the compressor is vapor it's vapor super saturated and that vapor super saturated enter enter in this in this accumulator receiver accumulator dryer and inside of that element start the process of condensation other important element in the refrigeration cycle is the receiver dryer this is the receiver dryer this is a section of, a, of the dryer the refrigerant at high pressure and high temperature enter over there this pipe in the bottom is open and normally in the bottom of this container uh, there are a, a, a hygroscopic substance to absorb moisture to absorb humidity after that the refrigerant continue the refrigerant enter over there in in the bottom the hygroscopic substance absorb humidity absorb moisture for that reason the name of that element is receiver dryer to to accumulate the moisture over there and after that the refrigerant at high pressure continue 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 and enter in the expansion valve look at the reduction in diameter this is the the original diameter this is the output diameter in this in this moment the uh, the pressure and the temperature drops dramatically and after that continue the capillary pipe uh, this is the expansion valve this is the expansion valve for that reason the receiver dryer is located in between the output the output of the compressor and the expansion valve before the expansion valve the pressure is around 220 225 250 depending on the refrigerant uh, uh, psi and after that the pressure is around 70 psi 60 70 psi it's a it's a huge reduction in uh, in pressure but the reduction is also in temperature yes at the input of uh, the expansion valve the temperature is around 110 115 degrees fahrenheit high temperature and in the output is 40 degrees fahrenheit it's practically ice for you and me but for the refrigerant is too high have the compressor the compressor is the center remember remember that slide the compressor is the center of uh, of uh, of the system and uh, we have a uh, two two coils we have one external coil external coil and uh, we have uh, an indoor coil outside and inside yeah and uh, this is the compressor and we have uh, the expansion valve here in this particular case this is a thermal expansion valve okay this this expansion valve work with a different with a different principle no different it's not different it's pretty similar but uh, the concept is different the, that thermal expansion valve remember that we have uh, basically two types of uh, um, expansion devices we have uh, the, the thermostatic expansion valve or thermal expansion valve and the capillary pipes. The capillary pipes is uh, the, the, the example that I explained before in the in the micro video. The next one, this one, this one here is a thermal expansion valve and work with the with a simple simple principle. This is the refrigerant with high pressure and high temperature, and this is the thermal expansion valve. The thermal expansion valve operates with this the diaphragm internally open and closed depending on the signal. The signal is coming from this small capillary pipe connected to this bulb. Internally in this bulb, they have a, a substance similar to mercury. A according with the temperature of this, the mercury expand or retract. Depending how much expand or retract, the diaphragm move back or forward and open on, and, and close and allow that the refrigerant pass through the venturi. Immediate, immediately, the refrigerant pass through the venturi the pressure and the temperature drops dramatically in this pipe and in this in this moment is practically frozen and the refrigerant frozen internally the pipe the pipe is frozen pipe and the refrigerant continue here evaporated right now evaporated right now evaporated right now and enter 
once again in the compressor to start the cycle again. The compressor compress, compress the refrigerant and send the refrigerant with high pressure. The refrigerant pass through the accumulator. The refrigerant right now is liquid with high pressure and high temperature and pass through the expansion valve. The expansion valve open and close depending on the signal. Suppose Take that uh, you have a you have a this situation. Uh, this is the compressor. This is the compressor, and uh, this is the output of the compressor. Uh, this is uh, the vapor, high pressure, high temperature, and enter in the white bath. In this moment, the piece of metal is located here. That's the piece of metal, and uh, the refrigerant uh, is allowed to pass over there and enter into the outdoor coil, external coil, outdoor. Okay, in that case, the refrigerant enter over their vapor and immediately become liquid. In this case, this is work, working like a condenser. Condenser. After that, the refrigerant is liquid and enter in the expansion valve. Remember that the expansion valve have a, the sensor with a capillary pipe and the bulb is located here. In the typical refrigeration cycle, we have a five compounds five important components. The most important, the heart of the system, is the compressor. The compressor compress the refrigerant and uh, the refrigerant, depending on the pressure, absorb heat or release heat. That's the number one. That's the compressor. We have two coils. We have one outdoor coil or outside coil that uh, in the normal cooling mode is working like a condenser. One coil outside. and other coil inside that in the normal cooling mode is working like evaporator. This is the white valve. The input of the refrigerant coming from the output of the compressor at high pressure, high temperature vapor enter here. And depending on the position of this piece of metal, here or here, the, the refrigerant goes over there through the outside or goes here to the inside.